All right, another boat walk around tour. Last one for the week. So this is it's a big old girl. Check that out. Missing the coupler on the front. A simple two bolts. Grab one of those at an auto parts store, no problem. Uh, you can see it's gonna have to be winched up further and this relocated up here. But the trailer's in decent shape. Obviously, it should be on a dual axle, I would think. Uh, fairly large. It's in Almond, Almond? 23 uh, a fairly large vessel a stainless steel bar around up there and check it out these windows actually open up it looks like too on the bottom gets a nice airflow coming through so uh, let's just uh, get you down here on the keel I mean it's looking uh, looking tight and nice this uh, of course is gonna be labor of love as we go and check it out more trailer tires look decent not seeing any drive right on those futura scramblers probably not even trailer tire tires honestly okay here's a glance at the inside we'll hop up here in a second and uh, scroll over to this side up and over oh uh no drive on it or anything uh, i'm gonna have to talk to him and see he has anything I don't I don't know if he does so that I'll update down or in the description of the listing uh, let's you know this tire is decent too yeah this trailer's way undersized I mean you could probably get it home locally on there but what's it sticking off the back five feet or something well, let's hop in here oh nice fiberglass floors not feeling any softness so far, let's see what we got for an engine. Sorry about the poor footage if it doesn't come out great. Oh yeah, like old V8 in there with a Holley carburetor. Looks like probably a Chevy. I don't know, distributors in the back. It's got a Mallory YL520-CV Dizzy. And yeah, looking, you know, looking pretty good. I'm sure it's a runner. Don't know if it's locked. Don't know anything about it. I know it did run at one point. And then it's been sitting. I'll get that on better in a second. Uh, let's take a look. Oh, nice storage under there. Oh, let's pinch that. Oh, it's just like a cover. Oh, nice and sturdy, no flex there. Floor. You know, this thing feels good. Nice seat. Good he kept it covered. This seat, pretty good shape too. Except for, you know, that's not the floor making that noise. That's just a, no, it's the wrong size actually for that post. Coming down here. Not feeling any softness. Here's a look at the little cutty. Yeah, the escape hatch. Plenty of overhead in this thing. Oh, there is some wasps. Oh, yeah, it's a little chilly out today. They're not messing with me. Oh, I'm not gonna kill them on camera because some people don't like that. In fact, I'm just letting them be anyway. What are you talking about? Look at the gauges. The shifter. Steering. All right, well, hopefully that kind of gives you a good idea. I love that these windows open up so you can can loosen. Oh, I probably need some, some lube or what, what have you, but it's awesome that you can kind of fold those forward. So that, uh, I think that pretty much concludes the tour on this one. Definitely a really cool boat to fix up and get out on the water. And $500 is a darn steal for such a vessel. Just imagine the waves that could be crashing through. This would be a very smooth ride. Super smooth on the choppy waters.